So today I am releasing my macro assistant Photoshop actions for my Patreon community. So I've had a Patreon for a few months now, I've been trying to push content out to those people that support me on Patreon. And today I'm glad to announce that I am releasing my macro assistant Photoshop actions. Now these actions have been created from repetitive tasks that I use in my macro photography retouching, such as adding noise or flattening images, creating new layers, or doing a healing or retouch up on a, on a spider's eye or a fly's eye, all kinds of actions like that. I've made them into Photoshop actions that you can now download if you are a Patreon supporter. This is early beta. If you are a Patreon supporter and you're in the adult jumping spider section of Patreon, you can download these actions right now. But let me go through these actions for you now and tell you what they are and what they're used for. The first one is just to play me first. It's just a little information, what it is, what it's about. Basically, it's about a early beta of the actions. The first two actions are frequency separation. One is for 8-bit images. The other one is for 16-bit images. So if you look at your image, see if it's got an 8 or a 16, so we know which action to use. What this does, it separates the image into a low frequency and a high frequency, enabling high level retouching on your images. You'd use this where your normal healing tools or your clone tools can't get the job done. There's also a dodge and burn layer with that. I don't really use the dodge and burn that much on that layer. I like to do my dodge and burning separately, but I've added that to it just to add a little bit in case you need to use that. Now, the frequency separation is used a lot in beauty retouching, but what I found is it works great on macro shots that particularly have a high level of texture. The next one is an add guys. You click on this and we can add guys to our image to see where our rule of thirds are. Then we have a merge all to a new layer. So instead of using keyboard shortcuts, I can just click on this action to merge everything into a new layer. That's great if I need everything on a new layer, for applying anything like denoise. So we want to apply that to a different layer. So we're keeping our image non-destructive. We have a clipping warning. If you apply that and you're clipping your shadows or your highlights, it will warn you. It's very similar to the one you have in Lightroom. So if you see blue turning up, that means that you're turning your shadows into black and you're losing detail. And if it turns white, you're clipping it on the high level, which, which means you're just creating white pixels and you're losing detail in your highlights. Next is reduce banding. So if you start getting banding, particularly on 8-bit images, you can run this action to help reduce that banding. We've got add noise and grain. I find this useful. If I'm fixing a piece of an image and I'm drawing on pixels, those pixels have no noise or grain in them at all. So this is great for matching up that particular part of the image that's been healed with the noise and grain that's in the original image. We have a flatten action. So if you need to flatten everything before saving it out, you can use that to flatten it. We've got revert to original, so if you make a mistake, we can revert it to the original. We have save for social media, so if you're saving a single image and you want to put it onto Facebook or something like that, this is a great action for doing that. Now, if you're saving it for Instagram, you want to use the action that's below it, and that is save for Instagram. And what this does is it saves in a 4x5 aspect ratio, and then after you've saved that, it will also go into an 8x5 with a slice, so you got that nice left and right action that you see everyone doing on Instagram. It's great for doing that. And that action is there for you just to click on it, output your images, or save the, uh, the original image, and then your two side-by-sides. And that is all ready for you then to upload to Instagram. Next is insane details. I've stopped using this action because I'm using the sharpen action now, which we'll get to in a minute, but that's there if you want to play with. And the same with the cartoon effect, that's there if you want to do some interesting creative effects on your images. We've got an add texture overlay which we can use. We can use this action to add our grunge textures that are on my website. You can add them as an overlay onto your image if you wish to. We've got the sharpen action. This is probably the action I use the most. This is the best sharpening technique I have found for macro images. Once you've run the action, just put on a black layer mask and paint in the detail where you want it sharpened. Anywhere where it's out of focus, you don't want to apply it there. You just want to apply it to the sharpest parts of your image. And then we have a black vignette and a white vignette. So those are my macro assistant actions for Adobe Photoshop CC. You can download them right now from the Patreon page. Again, you have to be in the adult jumping spider section of my Patreon to get those actions. And these will be updated at a regular interval, adding things, fixing things, and just improving them overall. 
if you want to check out my patient page there is a link in the description where you can go to and you can sign up to patient but for now that's where i shall leave it my name's Stuart Wood and again as always i'll see you on the next video